Virgos. Hey, my beautiful soul tribe. Hey, my family. Hey, my love, love, loveies. Hey, my loves. What is going on with you guys? I hope you are feeling amazing. Let's go ahead and dive into your energy, okay? So you see the pre-shuffle here. We just gonna cut right to the chase. Let's dive right in. All right, Virgo. So the cards that I picked out for you, looks like you are um, dealing with somebody who is communicating with you and it's a choice that you need to make or you're trying to figure out which way you wanna go with your person. Whoever this is on your mind and whoever this is that may be thinking about you, um, it's saying reason is powerless in the face of love, meaning love inevitably will conquer all. People might not understand the way you feel or why you're making the decisions you make when it comes to a certain somebody, but you understand and the divine understands. And in due time, you'll get the answers you need, the clarity you're seeking and what your heart needs to either move on away from this person or make things work and figure out how to find common ground. Whatever this is, there's going to be some communication. There's going to be some romance and you're going to be in your feels. And it's saying that you need to listen to your heart. Now, this could be happening now or this could be coming towards you. For some of you guys, it could have already happened the last past couple of days. Because I know some of these happened on New Year's or right before. So you tell me in the comments how you feel. Hello to all my new subscribers and my family members. Thank you guys for your like, share, and subscribe, your love and support. All right, so let's see. Um, also, we see seeing clearly gratitude and happy with your life. So this is triggering me to tell you that no matter what people think, Virgo, you have to do what's right for you and what feels comfortable for you in your situation at the time. You really cannot live for everybody else. It really is up to you and what makes you feel good. Of course, people that care for you are going to try to advocate for you to make the best decision, all right? But honestly, they can't live your life for you. You'll have to go through, you'll have to learn the lessons, you'll have to, to just reap the benefits or even feel the pain Whatever it is that's meant for you to get out of this situationship, relationship, or encounter with whoever, it's meant for you to get. So honestly, Virgo, don't let people discourage you or make you feel stupid or anything like that. Whatever this is, it's a very sensitive situation and it's for you and your person to go through together. It's your lesson, your life, okay? So it's all up to you and how you go through it. All right, period, pull. There we go. I got you. I got you, okay? Because it's a lot of times and we love when people love us and they want to advocate for us and they want to stand in the gap for us and stand up for us. But at the same time, it's a limit to everything. Everything has limits and their boundaries. And to, at a certain point, you're supposed to pull back and let that person go for whatever they want to go for because inevitably... All you are is a voice in their ear. The choice and the decision is theirs. And this is what they know going in, right? Or yours. The choice and decision is yours. And these people know that going in, nobody can make you do anything, all right? We love when people care for us, but at the same time, boundaries shouldn't be crossed, right? And it's only so far you can go. You can't choose for anybody. So um, respectfully, you know, you can say thank you for your advice. I appreciate it. But and inevitably, I have to make up my own mind and make my own decision. It's true. You have reach out, welcome, love, let yourself receive. Somebody wants to love you. Somebody wants to share life with you. Somebody wants to soothe your pain. They want to fill the void. Somebody wants to remind you of how amazing you are. Just that simple. And whoever this is, whether they're in your life for a reason or just a season, I mean, be open to receive and enjoy and enjoy it temporarily, whatever it is. If, if it's long term, okay. But for some of you guys, it may be only temporary, but Spirit is saying, open up, enjoy it. This is either sent to compliment you in your life and somebody sent to be your life partner or with you on this journey or they're sent to open up your heart chakra, help you balance your emotions and help boost your confidence and self-esteem, reminding you of how amazing you are. Either way, 
baby, this is for you, not for anybody else to tell you how to live your life or how to maneuver through certain situations. So you do you, Virgo. All right. You do you. You want a personal reading to see the outcome or get some advice from spirit? You can get it at closer the number to my destiny dot com. OK. All right. And last but not least. We have look inside yourself, okay? This is saying look inside yourself. All you want, you already are. Abundance, resources, and your wish is granted. So whatever this is that you've been asking the universe for, whatever this is you've been praying for, for some of you guys, you've been praying for balance in a certain situation with a certain someone. This could be even balancing your life with your family or whatever the case may be, but just balance, peace, and harmony. Spirit is saying your wish is granted. And look at this. It says the wound is the place where the light enters. Okay. And what does that mean for you? The wound is the place where the light enters. For all my smart Virgos down there that like to elaborate and put your two cent in, I would like your two cent, my love. Tell me what this means to you. The wound is the place where the light enters. For me, I feel like sometimes in life we have to go through tough, hurtful, and painful situations to mold us into what we need to be. It's like without an opening, how can we get that healing that empowers us to pour into somebody else, right? That's God's opportunity to come in, heal you, renew you, renew your spirit, creating you a clean heart and balance your energy and reminding you that A, you're never alone. B, you're stronger than you think you are. And C, this was only meant to help you grow, to elevate you. You know, let me know what you think. All right, let's go ahead and move on, y'all. This was deep. I love it. I love it. Okay. So don't let anybody live your dream, live out your dream. You pick and choose for yourself. Get what people tell you. Take the meat, leave the bones. And just do what is right for you. Inevitably, it's your decision. Remember that. All right. Because you have a situation here that is going to add to you in some way. All right. So use your intuition. You've came really far. You've learned a lot of lessons. You have had a lot of growth. All right. This is the year for you to capitalize on all that. This is the year that your hard work is going to pay off. So you're going to have these experiences. You're going to move through them like a pro. Because you are the pro. Okay, Virgo, you're the magician, baby. Let's go. Okay, let's see what else spirit got for you tonight. This is good, okay? Take what resonates, guys, and leave the rest. I feel like this video could help everyone. So let's see what the overall energy is and what type of energy is surrounding you. And then we're going to tap into the tarot and get some clarity on these cards and see what the story is behind it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Gods, thank you for your presence and your divine light, love, wisdom, and guidance. Thank you for protecting each and every one of my people, my soul tribe that are listening to my voice. Thank you so much for protecting me, blocking and binding negative energy, monitoring spirits, familiar spirits, unfamiliar spirits, and any type of energy or entity that is trying to come up against your divine will for our lives. Peace, love, and abundance is what we ask for. Thank you for granting us that in clarity. Amen. Amen. And amen, we're going to say my loves, hey, hey, my loves, hey, hey, my loves, sing it with me one time, sing, hey, my loves, hey, my loves, y'all see that, y'all see it, okay, Somebody could have a Scorpio that is thinking about them. And honestly, baby, you're, you're their wish. Somebody feels that way. <clears throat> I feel like somebody is realizing just how special you are to them or just how important, an important part of their life you are. For some of you guys, this person is remembering way too late. Way too late. All right. But there is somebody who has this strong attraction for you. And this is them taking action. This is passion. Them feeling motivated. Ambitious. Mm -hmm. So it looks like somebody is going to be taking action towards you. Communication is here. So 
communication will come in or you'll be able to talk to somebody. I feel like you guys are going to be talking some things out. There's going to be a major breakthrough. Once you guys have this conversation, this is you and somebody that you're passionate about. Somebody that you care for a lot. People could have been advising you to stay away from this person or advising you about this person. But to be honest with you, Virgo, you two have some type of soul contract or some contract to fulfill. Um, that's why these cards are coming out. You're meant to go through whatever you're going through with this person. For somebody, it's a fire sign. For somebody, it's a water sign. For somebody, it's an earth sign. It's here. Even air is here. All right? But there's going to be some type of rebirth this winter between you and this person. And it could be just as simple as you getting the information that you desire to have. This is something that you asked for, that you wanted, that you requested the universe to do for you. For some of you guys, you wanted this person to come back. You prayed for it. Um, even if you felt like other people didn't, they were against this. Because you do have people that are against this union, this connection. Um, and it could be people on their side. You guys let me know in the comments. But whatever this is, it's up to you to decide. And it's something that you need to hear. It's another piece to your puzzle. And nobody can dictate that for you. I mean, free will is yours, okay? So remember that. I know, sweetie. People always trying to tell somebody what to do, right? That's Virgo's decision. Okay, so let's get some more, okay? We're going to go ahead and get some more. Moving on along, moving right along. I know y'all want the tarot. We coming, we coming. Let's get a little bit more. Okay, I want a couple more oracle cards on these situations. Because we have winter, rebirth. We have transformation, Pluto energy, that Scorpio energy. Um, let's see. So with the Pluto energy, it's talking about regeneration and transformation. And that's exactly what this says. Um, I feel like somebody wants to transform your relationship. Maybe somebody is thinking about you from the past, wishing they could change things. This Scorpio wants you to know that they changed. And not only did they change, but you had a major impact in their life. And you helped them grow. Child, these things just be coming to me. Y'all feel like that whatever happened between you and this person, it just wasn't enough. Girl with the snake, an empath and a narcissist. This person was very narcissistic. You know, they were very self-assured. They only really cared about what they truly wanted. And as loving as they could be, I feel like as time went on, they changed their mind about you. And this caused you to change your mind about them and a future with them. I feel like they thought you would always be around. I really do. Like, I, I'm feeling it. I know that. They thought you would always be around. This person never thought you would let go. They call it giving up on them. See, they're thinking about this situation that happened between you and them when you walked away. For some of you guys, it could have been as of lately, recently. This doesn't have to be somebody in the past. But for some of my Virgos, significantly, I see that this has been at least four, three years, something like that. And this person is, you You're you probably stop even wondering if they think about you. But this person is still thinking about this for some of you guys. Let me know, how long has it been with you and this Scorpio that broke your heart? Or this person is the one that triggered your, your um, spiritual awakening. How long has it been with you and this person? Because I'm feeling it. Okay? But um, they're thinking about this. They're thinking about this tower moment. It's the new year. I feel like you and this person could have very well spent New Year together. You know how Scorpios hold on to memories? They will hold on to memories forever. You won't even know that they're thinking about you like they do. For some of y'all, this person thinks about you every day. They wish that they could change things, relive the past, rewrite history. That was deep. Rewrite history came to me. Mm. Okay, moving on. <laughs> What's going on with this wish fulfillment? Welcome and love, me and the wine, Grim Reaper, and love, ooh, ascending. So somebody is saying, I, I overcame that. Somebody is, you overcame this. So heart with the key. This person wants you to know that you will always have a key to their heart. 
if you would have called this person or went toward this person any time, they would have came back to you. They were waiting for that. This person still thinks that you're going to come back. Welcome in love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together and perfect. Somebody really wants to be close to you. Somebody is wishing, asking for another opportunity with you, but they're asking for an opportunity with you. Um, they want you to come to them. I see some of you guys will reach out to somebody. Welcome in love, letting yourself receive. For some of you guys, this person is going to reach out to you. And this could be a new person for a lot of you. Welcome in love and meeting the one is you meeting somebody new also. Getting together and perfect could be somebody trying to return from the past. With this epiphany and shocking news, sudden change, is somebody changing their mind? Thinking about old memories of you. You see that? They're thinking about it. Somebody is reminiscing real bad. And they are having some type of tower moment this is like a huge awakening for them we're going to clarify it to see exactly what's going on in this person's mind let's move on then so we can get to these cards and then we're going to clarify these cards um but with the grim reaper this relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life i feel like you are understanding that for some of you guys, it could have very well been you just having an epiphany moment, thinking about the past and really recognizing something, right? Whoever it is that's thinking about the past was in regret. And it's like you didn't realize that you were repressing these feelings. Somebody was in tears thinking about this because you thought you were healed from it. You didn't think you were so emotionally attached, but somebody shed a tear about this. It still hurts. And you didn't realize that. Somebody realized, oh my God, this is why. Um, this is what's holding me back. Somebody's realizing that. Grow and transform your life. So you're realizing, wow, this was holding me back. With this sh with this shocking change and sudden ep epiphany, somebody's realized it. It could even been them. I feel like for some of you, it was them. Realizing how precious you were to them, how stupid they were to let you go. Somebody definitely realized this, right? Love, unconditional love. Somebody realized that you gave them unconditional love. You weren't going to leave them for anything. What they did and what you found out made you leave them. And you realize that, oh my God, I've been wasting my time. You started feeling like you're wasting your time. And for a Virgo, when you feel like you're wasting your time, for anybody for that matter probably, when you feel like you're wasting your time, that's like wasting your money. You're like, baby, like, uh-uh, because that's wasting your energy, wasting your love, wasting your support, wasting your effort. Oh, no, mm-mm. Every time I say one of them, I just feel more and more weight. Uh-uh. That's too much. Like, that's why you let it go. It's somebody new coming into your energy. If you're wondering if you're going to meet somebody or how long is it going to take, some of you are about to meet somebody very soon. Some of you guys encounter people all the time, but you just don't want them. You ignore them or you just, you don't want them. Some of you have been closed because you didn't realize how hurt you really were and how wounded you still were about this past situation. For a lot of you guys, you're opening up and you're understanding that this helped you expand this is helping you prepare for union. Spirit revealed that to you. For whoever saw that flash of the past and really got hurt, it pierced your heart because you need to know that you have to make sure that you're healed before you get this true love that you're asking for. So as much as God loves you, he loves you enough to be real with you, to keep it 100 with you, to keep it a band with you. Y'all know what that means? To keep it all the way 100, authentic, the truth, the hardcore truth. You're still hurt. You're still attached to this. It's still something in you that you need to cut ties with and let go so you won't be held back from love. You know how many times I get that question in readings? When is love coming? When am I going to find love? Right? So this is, this is requesting you to do an energy check. Let's get to it. All right, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love, baby, here it comes. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? Now, you asking, okay? <laughs> you ready for it, though, are you? Let's see. Holy Spirit, holy angels, ancestors, and spirit guys, clarity, please. 
clarity spirit for my virgos hey my lovies and all who may be watching show me the way <laughs> show me the way now show me spirit what does virgo need to see open your hands if you want to be held baby <laughs> god said i ain't playing with you you're the magician boo manifest it open your heart up to love okay use the tools you have spirit is basically telling you the magician energy is telling you you have all the tools you need somebody can walk the walk talk the talk you got money in your pocket baby and love overflowing somebody need to can i get some snaps come on <laughs> hit that like share and subscribe button virgo yes let those likes go up baby show show youtube okay that we got a love thing going on okay we're not going nowhere we love each other over here. So um, with the magician energy, you got all the tools you need. Spirit says, open up. Make things happen. It's somebody holding on to you and they're not trying to let go. All right? This could also be somebody. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Hold on. Let me change it back around. Hold on. Did y'all see that? It just turned all the way around. Hold on. Let me fix it. But it could be somebody that is holding on to you and they're not letting you go. They're serious about this opportunity with you. Somebody doesn't want to let it go. The choice is going to be yours. But something, some type of offer is about to present itself to you. This person's thinking about you right now, planning something. This is passion, action. Okay? Yeah ambition somebody's motivated about this okay doesn't have to be a fire sign but somebody's thinking about you passionately making plans fire planning they're planning something all right it says let's see seeing clearly gratitude happy with your life somebody is saying i've moved on away from stress away from things that hold me down with the with the six of swords, I keep saying that for you for this New Year's, baby. You starting a new year off right. You said I'm starting off on a good foot. I'm not trying to hear it. Like I'm balancing my life after a tower moment. It's like the tower already fell here. The divine tore something down because it was built on a faulty foundation. Somebody wasn't being honest, wasn't being fair, wasn't being truthful. Yeah, so that came to an end. Right now you're happy with your life. You're grateful to be able to balance after that tough and hurtful situation and somebody is wanting to relive that and i don't feel like they want to relive the pain somebody wants another chance but this person is a narcissist for some of you guys you were dealing with a narcissist and they can't stand rejection they can't take the fact that you left them and you don't need them somebody is ugh. for some of y'all they're plotting it just feels like that all right but i also feel a lot of love don't get me wrong i feel like somebody doesn't want to let go because for everybody it's not a narcissist but for somebody it was show me romance communication listen to your heart somebody's dealing with the air sign king of swords energy or this is you needing to be strategic you need to be um level-headed not emotion um, this is logic over emotion. So listen to your heart. And somebody is saying reason is purposeless when love is there. Somebody is feeling really sad. Five of cups in despair. Feeling like they ruined everything. Feeling like they let the cups spill out. Somebody is missing their family. Somebody's acknowledging that they really screwed up. They did. Let's get down here. <laughs> Not enough frustrating a relationship. Show Virgo one card on each, please. And we're going to talk about it. Mm, this person thinking about you right now. Planning. Contemplating. Look at this. The ending starting a new beginning. Here it is. Ace of Wands. Hold on. Let's do that one over. Don't worry. It's going to come out. Somebody is secretly in love with you. Look at this. Somebody likes you. They're attracted to you. You're going to find out who this is. You're going to find out who this is. 
I remember one time we got a reading for you and somebody was writing you a love letter. They either left you a note, send you a love message, put it on your car, something like that. I remember that. And I feel this type of energy building momentum. Somebody really is attracted to you and they want to get to know you better. All right. Passion, affection, attraction. Somebody wants you back in their energy. And also this new person wants to get to know you. They want to get closer. Somebody's wishing for an opportunity with you. It's like, I feel like you guys keep missing each other, but somebody definitely wants to know who you are. The moon. It's like everything is, it's like, it's something missing here. It's like clarity. Like, it's like... <laughs> Maybe it's nighttime and somebody's thinking about you or they saw you at night. Something like that. With this person from the past, somebody is secretly wanting you. In secret, they're wishing for you, wishing for opportunity or something like that. With the moon, it brings clarity. It talks about what's hidden. I feel like you're very mysterious. It talks about mystery. Um, I feel like this person doesn't know you. It's like they can't catch you. I feel like it's always, it's always like... Maybe they hardly ever see you. And when they see you, it's very it's like you're very mysterious. You don't do a lot. They don't hear you a lot. It's like they can't fill you out by as by the quick way you pass. And it's like all they could do is look at you. All they could do is watch. Yeah. But this ending helped prepare you for this beginning. Some of y'all realize why this ended. And that last little tear you cried was to help you let this go. All right, y'all talk to me in the comments and let me know how you resonate with this. But right now, baby, you're shining bright. Spirit is healing you, healing your finances, healing your body, mind, soul, and spirit. A beautiful way to start off the new year. Let's go, Virgo. Let's get in.